take note. If you have not heard of this company, you absolutely need to. This I got to tour this uh, this company last year. By the way, I'm with Mike Bedard, who's a product specialist and our drum specialist, product manager. Uh, this company is so cool. I got to demo these last year uh, at, a, at an Endorse Expo, and I'm so excited to dive into this. These are these are digital drums like you've never heard them, and and have the trigger sensibility and flexibility and sound quality, everything. Mike, what makes these drums so special? Well, the, uh, the across the whole brand, we've got, a, it's called Elise uh, Sensing. And then now on the Pro, we have Elise 2.0. And this is our, um, the way we've gone with our, our sensors under the head, our sensors on the rim, sensors on the side rim for the, uh, for the snare. And it's the, it's our software, our own algorithms that are in there showing these drums how to communicate. Sorry. Hands to eyes for the drummer. And your own uh, samples, right? Like you record, FNO records the drums themselves. Yeah, we record everything ourselves. And uh, we have our own version of Round Robin. That's uh, It's a little different, it's a little more nuanced. It takes a little less, it's a little more efficient. And we're still developing that as we go. So the drums, as you uh, go down the line, they they open up, they get wider. Um, the quality is, is there and the, uh, the sensibility, like when you're, or the sensitivity, when you're playing it, you're getting like exactly what you're putting into the drum back. So yeah, and I was so blown away by like the not only the 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 sound, but also the feel of how live it is because of how the drum responds. Like everybody's played or drummers have all played, uh, you know, electronic kits that it, it, there's just something that feels foreign. But the way you do your mesh heads and also the response, like if you kind of miss the snare the sound will react to that, which really puts you in a vibe like you are playing a real drum set. Yeah, for sure. If you're not keeping it tight, it's not gonna sound tight. Some drummers kind of get on it and they're used to playing drums that sort of process and put a lot of uh, masking over your shortcomings. On these, it's not like that. You need to tighten it up. I go into the office some mornings and I'm not tight and it sounds not tight. <laughs> <laughs> we have, um, like, it's a lack of processing. We've taken off what we want to take off in order to keep what's important on there. That's what makes the drum mix right here. It sounds like the drums are right here in the mix instead of down the hall, Yeah, you know, with parka on the walls and whatever you want to model into it. This is all uh, sample based and uh, no modeling. So a uh, different approach. And it's the little details too. And we're going to do a walk around because I want to see the new products and what you're offering. Uh, we're looking around here and it's, uh, I'm, I'm very excited for F note. Um, but also like the, the hi-hat has like 360 sensibility it can tell when the the hats are kind of like banging against each like it yeah. is so sensible yeah. and 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 it responds like a drum set would like it's it it blows me away so what do you have new right now or should we start with what is previous this previous line yeah so this is a little killer i love this set so much uh this is called the mini uh, so as far as new elements that are on this we have a 14 inch kick we have a brand new 10 inch snare three zones just amazing little drum, super responsive. We have our eight that we introduced on the Pro. So that's the Tom. Then we have a little baby cute 10 inch floor Tom, which uh, sounds thunderous depending on the uh, samples, obviously. Uh, three zone ride versus uh, 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 slash crash that there's some um, kind of baked in layering on it on some of these samples. We've taken off the layering function on this kit because it's just plug and play, go do a gig, quick setup, like less than 10 minutes setup. Uh, and then can you can you quickly describe the three zones of the of the ride like what that, yeah what that means yeah you have your 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 cup zone and then your bow and then your edge well we have some where it's like okay it's a certain ride so it has say a, a 20 inch uh k that's on there it'll go cup uh bow and then on the edge we'll put like an ozone crash so it'll be like ding ding ding, ding and then and then wah, up yeah. the side it's sick so you could lay into it as if you've got another symbol on it uh in this we have layered in um uh, like a, a stack on certain samples. And then once you go to the edge, it's like an inverted, it's really thin China splash with rivets in it. So just the most shimmery from to like right up the top. And uh, we're gonna keep the beatbox and trump. <laughs> <laughs> and then this we have, this is the little brother, I should say, or sister, whatever, to the uh, 14 inch uh, hi-hats that we have. So this has three optical sensors in it. I'd say this thing plays even tighter than our four inch. It's amazing and it might be due to the physical, the hi-hat getting it off the bottom quicker and just it being smaller. Yep. So in the same way that a, a 12 inch acoustic hi-hat plays tighter than a 14, this plays and, and responds even tighter than ours. See, that's the stuff about F note that I love is that like, you know, most, most drum trigger companies will have like a hi-hat 
a you know or just like identical symbols and then but you you had you have different sizes like it feels the whole experience feels like you're playing a real drum set yes and this one just like our first um the hc3 that was the you know remote with one symbol on it it, it kind of caught a lot of heat because when you play it, it it moves right so some drummers didn't like it and they wanted the two piece you know then we had the 14s well all of those if you put those onto our pro module everything's backward forward compatible so you put this or any of our symbols on the on the uh, pro module all of a sudden you got a cup zone on every one of the symbols so it was thought you know from the get-go it was planned we need to sell a certain amount improve sell a certain amount improve little things like this we had this is a this is a prototype of a fix that we needed to make on this this is a five pin din that we saw as a weak point early on so this is a prototype of the the thing that's going to keep this attached for now yep. we keep on selling keep on killing we're going to keep on improving this is from listening to our audience this is from like humbly listening to them and saying we're going to do this promising them we're going to improve things this is the beginning of an improvement so a lot of these things a lot of these advances have been from listening to them and you know coming back with it and being able to go we did it you know yeah. another one and our our audience is listening and buying so it's great yeah and i want to quickly just touch on just show uh these are the other sets in this series correct with this yeah. technology yes so in a way this is the this is the newest kit in certain ways it's got um forward technology even from these in that we just created this app the new app the pro app is amazing we've been developing it with i think the greatest musician on earth my favorite musician on earth most of the earth's favorite musician and um it's to get it there, it's basically every function that's in the pro module is now accessible on your phone and that's going out to every customer that we have because that that same app is now going to control and be an upgrade for these everyone that had the app for the earlier kits they're now going to have a much better um, app for those kits so this is using that these are from the older line this is the 3x here yep this was my my favorite kit even when we were coming out with kits after it it just kind of is the best all around kit um i would gig less with this i'd probably gig with a, a, a full shell kit but as far as being in the shed or recording. I've, I've tracked a whole bunch of soundtracks for movies, shorts, commercials, everything. I've dropped a whole bunch of submissions for albums with it. I'll submit the, uh, you know, the, the USB uh, MIDI underneath it. I'll submit the ticks if they want them. And then I'll put in the audio, nine out of 10, seriously, times they've kept the audio from the drum. From the app. Yes, because wow. they separate it out and they treat it the way they want to treat it in the DAW, that's it. It's yep. fun. So um, moving on, <laughs> these ones, I do want to cover the new ones while we have time. So yeah. the new releases. Yeah. So this is the five, but this has expansion pack two. expansion pack two adds eight inch Tom, the Tom mount, eight inch splash. So you got two splashes and then this <laughs> mount, and then you have the 17 inch effect scratch with the uh, symbol stand. So that's the five with the expansion pack two. Now all of our shell packs for the different kits, it seems like there's a zillion different things to look at in order but we have it all out by expansion pack one two three right so you get mix and match as well so uh, very wow. flexible in the the kind of shell pack you can come out with sure this was the flagship of our first generation of drums this is the 7x this is the first and only uh symbol stack uh there this has sympathetic resonance from top to bottom you light up the top you light up the splash it lights this up a bit you light that up it lights that up a bit and what yeah, and the pro module, if you want to get up to your higher volumes and start slamming it, it starts stacking in the samples. So it'll go from to like, yeah. right? Um, 20 inch ride. These are the bookends, symbol sizes in the industry, the eight inch and the 20 inch, largest and the smallest. We were the first. Now we got a couple of knockoffs that are doing it, but this is the, the one and only. I mean, symbol stacks and different symbol sizes in a, a digital kit. This is it's unbelievable and then uh can, can you walk us through this one because i mean look at the double kick yeah, this, come on this monstrosity uh this came from our engineers they made a drawing and i almost lost it because they're like can we put this together at the show um this has got two kick drums we basically took the eight inch tom and reassigned it to a kick drum we went in there set the the sounds slightly set them off a bit so you have a little difference just like real acoustic drums um and obviously the flexibility of of this is from us being able to offer uh, components. So we're selling all of our drums as components. Any one of our products works with any one of our products. So you can use any module. You could take this module and put it on the mini and make a mini monstrosity that gets up into these um, sizes if you want. Sure. Uh, 
But I, I also just love the size. Look at the, the footprint of that module. Yeah. It's so compact. Yes, we're not trying to like show off our module on a kit. We love the low profile of the module always. This one got thinner, wider. We listened to our audience again. Obviously the quality of that touchscreen is phenomenal. And uh, it's got exponentially more sounds in it. Uh, it has 23 uh, sets that are in it, but just tons and tons of snares, kicks, toms, cymbals, everything. Uh, the, the routing, this is the first and only uh, stage box that has Whoa. 12 channel, 12 channel XLR sending balance to the house. So keeping it pro right there. You can go in, you can go out USB, go say run superior drummer back in, right? Monitor, uh, your, oh, it's your monitor, but you can run it back in uh, through line in and then send it back out to the house with your drums. So you can have everything all at once, let the sound man blend. Stop trying to mix front of house from the drums and let the person that's actually at the front of house mix. You know, the way yeah. you should just give them really high quality samples. Wow. And then finally, we have the uh, special set 703X. We're going to go over there. So this kit is aimed right at House of Worship. And on our right, yeah. on stage left, but audience right, you'll see the right side of it is like gospel chops. You got your your 10, uh, 10 inch tom instead of the 11. You have the eight inch splash. You have the uh, 16 inch crash and the 17 inch uh, effect symbol. That's for more technical playing, you know, which as it would be off to your left. And then over on the player's right, you have the 20 inch ride, two 18 inch crashes. So keeping it big and then uh, 13 and 15 floor toms keep for the gushy, you know, contemporary worship side. So we have the, the two sides both in the in the kit. That's what we were aiming for to kind of blend the two because we find that the more indie style uh, contemporary worship drummers play, the bigger, more classic sizes, the uh, uh, more modern technical drummers are playing, you know, the smaller stuff. I mean, beauty, quality, originality, and flexibility. That's everything that you get from F Note. Mike, I really appreciate your time, man. We have so much more coming live from the showroom floor of NAMM. Stay tuned to Full Compass.